I, I'm not a planner, I'm a lawyer, but I've only lived and worked with planners. And I just want to say three things, which I think are really important for you at the beginnings of your career. And, and the first thing I wanted to say is don't allow the cynicism of the modern world to overwhelm you, because planning is such a bloody good force for good. And we often forget that. And I think the one thing that's really, really, I always notice at these, these conferences is how much optimism there is about planning and don't allow yourselves to lose that because it is such a remarkable career. The other thing I want to say is do appeals, genuinely. I mean, the, the real thing that's changed in my career is how much more difficult it is to give evidence at appeals. And the third thing is also go to the High Court because it's often forgotten, and I know this from my own experience, that, that people who, planners who get involved in the legal process are often surprised because on um, Tuesday, I'm in the High Court next Tuesday in Manchester, and we are spending a day arguing about the construction of one policy in the Allerdale Borough Plan. Uh, literally, there's a day's proceedings whether the officer interpreted the policy right. And I think that kind of forensic scrutiny is a really powerful thing to see, the reality of how we as lawyers approach planning. But we're in an era where there is a political loss of nerve about, about making harsh decisions. And again, Tim might relate to this, but I certainly think the most powerful trend in my lifetime in, as a, in the planning world has been the collapse of the concept of the public interest. The fact is, we need infrastructure, we need development, and yet no political party really is willing to grasp that nettle and accept that, particularly at the local level. The white paper with huge, huge fanfare, August 2020, you know, a lovely glossy statement from our Prime Minister about how he was going to revolutionise the planning system, that has been as effective as a wet blanket. It's useless. We then had Gove's early statement earlier this year. What happened to it? Absolutely nothing. So as we all know, we're all facing the reality that there is no certainty at all. And that certainty does matter because, remember, only, planning only gets done if people commit money. And they commit money when there's a certainty about what's going to happen. So it's pretty depressing.